My name is Ben Cook and welcome to Angwin Info. Hi and welcome to Angwin Info. Join me on a session with a, a you know, a, a quite a method that I keep close to my uh, to my chest, uh, but I'm willing to uh, to share the trade secret. Um, and basically, what it is is a floating feeder, and it's a little basket feeder, and it's got a bit of polystyrene uh, in the bottom, and no weight on it whatsoever. And basically, what we're doing is we've got a little shot behind there, a little number one. It's on a. I've put a little bit of elastic on for a bit of give, and we've got a sliding feeder. Um, swivel on there down to a, a quick stop bead and what I've got is I've got two baits I've got a pellet to show you uh, how it works with pellet um, and I've also got uh, fiber paste which I'll go on to to next um, and I've got some of this uh, sausage meat lava which I'll just put a little touch on and I've got um, a champions feed pea pellet mix it's mixed up quite quite um, loose to be honest because with a few um, you know extra particles in there because what we wanted to do is create a cloud and we're only fishing shallow about six inches and we're looking to get that bite within uh, seconds of it in the water uh, so what we tend to do is have once it's hit if we're not caught within 30 seconds that's when I've got the loose feed uh, pellets and that's when we, we fire them, those in over the top and uh, hopefully catch some fish so just load your feeder as you would any normal feeder and uh, once you've done that, get your, uh, your lava mix and just put a little drop on top of that pellet. Got five pound main line on today and uh, size uh, si size 16 hook. And uh, like I said, there's no weight on it whatsoever. Just using uh, the weight of the the, f the feed to take it uh, and take it out. Just got my my little daughter just uh, arrived to uh, to ask me if I've caught anything, which. Uh, We'll soon find out, so we've cast that out, and uh, like I said, just, just try and keep the line as tight as you possibly can. And uh, you know, you're looking for a bite within uh, 30 seconds, really. And just get if you've not had a bite within 30 seconds, then just get your catapult out and uh, start putting a few pellets in over the top. There's a, there's a few fish uh, swirling around there, so hopefully we'll have a, have one on. And there we go. I'm into a fish. So just get try and steer it away from this uh, this reed. Just keep that 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 rod nice and low. Not mass not massive fish. Not massive fish. I'm always just nipped off. So there's obviously some fish there. So just need to. Uh, Recast and get that get that back out there. No point in uh, dwelling on ones lost. So get that one back. Get that one back out there. There's a, there's a few fish swirling out there. So fingers crossed we'll we'll have one within uh, another couple of casts or so. Just an important note is I'm just feathering that in um, just to. I'm not going to say not spook them, but um, there's some decent fish swirling around that. And there we go, that's no time at all, so just keep that, that rod nice and low. It's such an attractive method, as soon as it uh, hits the water, you know, the fish are, are up in those column, and, and the, you know, the, the straight hand that's again <laughs> have come off, and all this might be is that we're just getting a couple of foul lookers because there's so many fish there. I've started with an 8mm pellet because they're uh, quite visible. But before I had a bit of uh, paste on. But I think we'll soon find out when I get back. But I think I've had a bit of a camera technicality as I've just filmed the first part of it for you with the uh, paste and caught absolutely loads for you. And then I've gone up to the camera and it's recorded none of it. So that's, uh, as you can see there, going nuts for it and into another fish straight away hopefully we can get one of these in because like i say the uh they're the, the, that voracious that um sometimes you do get the um the occasional foul hook but we'll uh, endeavor to get this one in so yeah i'm keeping that rod nice and low 
and get its head up and is in the net. It's a nicer fish actually than, the, than what we've been catching earlier on, so that's, that's a bonus. And this one has took it hook, line and sinker straight in the mouth. And he's not wanting to relax and let me get it out either. So it's just inside the lip is that one so it's a, a nice uh, fish there for the pellet so just get that one in and rebate and see if we can we can have another one it may be that um the previous uh, footage that I've, I've done may 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 work uh, when I do get it out to edit but if not I'm going to have to dip back onto that pace because currently I um, couldn't see it when I, had, I looked back on it so what we'll do we'll see if we can uh, have another couple more on pellet for you and then we'll go back onto that paste so again you cast it and feather it into the water that's a bit shorter than, than the other ones but I don't think it'll matter too much to be honest no, I'll take that as a no because that went straight away. Um, a bit windy today. For some reason, these uh, this, these sessions are when they're on top. It always seems to be better on an afternoon. Um, don't really know why that is, but um, these afternoon sessions always seem to be better on an afternoon. Uh, on a later afternoon, sorry, than just a normal through the day. So, always give yourself a couple of uh, foot of line uh, when you cast, or at least a, a foot and a half. It just makes more accurate, and you're le less likely to tangle. Get a better release when you flick when you flick the rod out. And then we're into another fish. It's an acrobatic fish, is this one? Jumping out the water. A little ghosty. There we go. In the net. So, as you can see, it's uh, quite a productive method, is this one. Um, just have to make sure you, you, you're aiming it roughly around the, the, the same area. It's not actually one of those methods where like you're hitting your, your feeder and that you hit you need to hit the same spot absolutely every time there's that many fish um, that many fish, that's a nice ghosty um, that many fish uh, that around that area that you're not you don't really have to hit bang on that same spot every time it's, uh, it just needs to be around that you know around that area really um, and you know the fish the, the fish are all the way around there so we'll get another one on and then what we'll do is we'll we'll go onto the paste and we'll show you uh, the, f the fiber paste and why it can be such a, a deadly method have you noticed I haven't put any of that lava on and that's uh, basically they're taking it so quickly now that it's not really needed I'm just feathering it in and again let's try and put that line behind it and You'll get a tighter line on it and there's fish all over it as soon as it's in and then we're in straight away again it's an absolutely devastating method and like i said before that it's one i've kept close to my chest and don't really let many people know it but the spirit of the channel and um, that's what i'm here to do is to teach you new methods so i'll just get this uh, get this one in oh, it's uh, decided to wake up a little bit now may come off this one it may be just rolled over the uh, the line this one but we'll uh, we'll have a look and see if we can get him in nice little ghost no it's not his lips it's a bit better a bit better stamp is that one so there we go get that in and then I'll uh, get that paste back on and you can have a you can have a look at that paste 
beautifully upped in the in the lip is that one like I say they're just they're ready for it now they're competitive I'll see if I can get this one out with no drama there we go it's a, it's a nice fish nice little ghosty so uh, let's join me in a couple of minutes and I'll uh, I'll get some paste on and we'll, uh, we'll have a talk through the paste and uh, see how that goes Hi, right so you join me now and what we're going to try and do is use a bit of fibre paste so this is the stuff uh, Sono Bates fibre paste you just mix it up as a normal paste and it comes really fibrous and it just enables you to able to hook the bait um, again this is the the lava spicy sausage uh, from Sono Bates which we're going to use to put over it in regards to the rig um, nothing's changed um, in regards to the main setup it's uh, the only thing we've changed is the hook link and that's the wonder of these quick stop beads that you can just clip them on and off so we've got um, a size 14 hook on there and that's um, to six pound line as it's because it's a short hook link um, it's uh, perfect for uh, for this type of fishing and we're just hooking on that that paste so I'll bury your hook and then just gently pull it through uh, the tip out the other side and again with the the uh, the bait just pack the feeder in as I said before it's that that's the weight is in your feeder is uh, in the bait so I'll put a bit of that um, tiny little drop of that spicy sausage on there give yourself a foot and a half of line make it easier for casting we've got a bit of a headwind going now so it's uh, not as easy fishing this um, but we've uh, uh, fished straight away went for it then so it's good that they're still there so just repeat the process like the, the only downside to uh, the pace is that there's positive and negatives obviously the positive is that um, it it's also it's a less threatening bait um, because it's soft fish sort of see it is not as threatening as say it may be a pellet because I see that quite often um, so when it's a bit harder but you know they're there and the topping and you know you want to try something a bit less threatening that's where fiber paste comes in but the downside is it, if you twitch twitch it back or you do pull on it too much you will um, lose your paste and when you get a lot of fish in there they can knock it off whereas if you have a pellet and they're really having it the pellet's probably the best thing to have on uh, then you know it, it makes it easy for just baiting up and recasting or leaving it out there for a bit longer and spraying some pellets on it um, so feather it in again and they're straight in for the in for that bait underneath it
so as you can see from that fish um, it does work really well I um, I didn't talk too much because <laughs> I just had a um, a group of uh, family uh, stood stood outside of me so I uh, just sort of play that one out for you there so you, you can see it um, on video but without any talking behind it just have to cast that a little bit harder now that we've got this headwind but the, the fish are still there and as soon as it's hitting the water I mean they're, they're swirling over it now now we're into another fish this one's uh, playing the acrobatics so we'll get him in it's always good to set your clutch light with this method um, you can always tighten it up I do prefer a top drag uh, clutch but I, I do I do suggest that you do have uh, it set light because the bites are, are crazy and uh, see if we can get this fish in and then we'll we'll get that I'll show you how easy it is to change uh, methods back to uh, to pellet trying just trying to get under my peg normally for this uh, um, chuck I'd have an I'd, that's a bit better stamp one I'd have an eight, I'd have an eight foot rod but the reason uh, I've got my 11 foot today is um, purely from being on an elevated peg um, it makes it easier to uh, to, to land the fish because they come up and it just gives you they try to get under the bank and it just gives you a bit of extra reach this one's just perfectly hooked in the lip and we can see let's, let's try and hold him up for you it's uh, a bit better stamp and they, they do get bigger as uh, as you as you get along with these there's a few there's a few small ones in this uh, in this pond so what i'll do now is i'll just lift the rig up and i'll i'll show you how easy it is uh, to, uh, to to change the quick stop so let's pull this up first right so if you've never used um, a quick stop um before uh, and easy a quick change being sorry it's uh it's fitted onto your line with a little loop and it's got a little sleeve over it a bit like a connector on a pole um just release it slightly with your teeth and you can just tease it open and just allows you to take the loop off like that and then you get the uh get your other hook link which is here and then literally all you're doing is getting the loop on the other hook link putting that back over into the uh, the recess for it and sliding that sleeve back on and that's it that, in that, that fast um, is such a quick um, method and it's really such a clever idea uh, so all I'm going to do now is put that um, 6 mil, uh, sorry 8 mil I've got I think I've got here yep 8 mil uh, pellet back on fish are topping just readily uh, out there and it's it's you know it's a de devastating method is this and I'm, I'm gonna say I didn't really want to I'm not gonna say I didn't want to share it because I, I tell I share everything with you guys um, but it's won me a lot of stuff as that and it's something that I don't really give out um, information on um, unless uh, someone sees me fishing it and and I'm willing to sort of to share it but it's it's something I thought I should let everybody know now and everybody gets to see it and you know it, it, it's just a crazily good uh, method and you know it's just something it's something that you all need to try basically it's uh, it's just crazy and as you, as you can see into another fish now and uh, it's it's just devastating I mean that was first cast with pellet and you know I'm into a fish and what I'm going to do in a minute is just uh, put the camera behind me um, once I've landed this and uh, show you exactly where uh, it's landing and you know how quickly that the bites are coming uh, in real time this one feels a little bit better than, than others but you never know because these little they have little ghosties in here and oh, it's just slightly on the, on the top fin I think yes it is it's just slightly fouled up you unfortunately do get a, a few foul lookers um, with uh, 
this method and that's just purely because they're just nuts and they're so ferocious and they want the and they want the, the bait so much that they just swim into the line. So what we're gonna do is get this one un unhooked and then I'll change the uh, the camera angle and show you where uh, it's just come off in the net. Chuck that out there. Just another little uh, stocky. And we'll just change this camera angle for you and then you can, I'll show you exactly where we're fishing. And so as you can see, there's a little uh, island just off in front of me. And that's uh, that's where I'm, uh, I'm landing my feed. So the pellets are still on there. So we get a bit more, more feed in there. Don't really need the lava for most of your pellet fishing when they're coming up this much for it. Um, if you feel confident to put it on every time, do it. It's not, not going to hurt anything. But we're just feathering that down. As you can see straight away, there's, there's fish all over it. And it's uh, really just a crazy method. That's fish just swim all the way in um, against a, a little stocky carp. A little stocky carp. Um, and uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it just proves how insane it is. They just take it, literally that we're in seconds and it's, it's properly in its mouth here. You know, it's uh, it's not messing about with that. It's straight straight in. Lovely little ghosty. What we'll do? Just get baited up, and uh, we'll try again. There we go. It's uh, there's actually so many fish in that peg now. If we get it in or not, this is going to be the last fish of the day. But I mean, I've, I've, I've literally fished for an hour and a half. I must have had 40 fish, and it really is devastating, especially uh, this time of uh, uh, of day. And out of the, I mean, they both they both caught well, but out of the out of the two uh, two methods today, the pellets uh, sort of done the best I think um, and just purely because we got so many fish there that they're just uh, taking you know knocking the, the bait off and that's a nice nice fish to, to finish with uh, nice little ghosted common but uh, thank you for your constant support obviously join us on the Facebook group if you're not on there angling info and uh, angling underscore info for the uh, Instagram and uh, Obviously keep watching us, uh, subscribe and like if you could and uh, have uh, fun catching over the summer, Tatlands.